my name is Lyle and I'm talking to you uh, regarding swing joints and uh, one seems to work a little better than the other and give a little more flexibility and I'm going to explain both of those to you uh, today. What I have in my hand is the more uh, standard swing joint and uh, we don't know if this is exactly what you have but it should be very similar. Your water line, the white part here is where your main water line runs in, that's a three quarter line. And this is a three quarter out where there's a 90 degree elbow. And then whichever length of, uh, of uh, tubing in between the next 90 degree uh, elbow. And then your third 90 degree elbow to go straight up to, which is gonna go up to your uh, dig ender and sprinkler head. And the reason for that is you can now move up and down to uh, get the proper height from your water line so that your sprinkler head is at the proper distance uh, below the surface. The, uh, the adaptation or the swing joint that we at Dig Ender like is the unit using a PVC 90 degree elbow female to female. This is the three quarter inch uh, which can also be done with the half inch. As opposed to the more standard male to female unit, we like the, the uh, elbow that has a female to female. The reason for that is you can have, you have flexibility in the size or length of riser you put into the, the elbow, whereas this nipple doesn't really allow any variation in the fitting that goes into your sprinkler. And with the dig ender, it works better with some flexibility. Also, unlike the more standard unit, if you have a break in your riser, which would be down in this nipple, you can't get to it without digging out the entire hole. One of the advantages of the dig ender set up in this configuration is you can still reach in, take out the, a broken riser, and put a new one in and with the dig ender in place it's a big advantage with uh, utilizing this setup and it's actually uh, it's only it's one more part it's the nipple piece another advantage is your bottom cap fits, sits very nicely onto the uh, top of that elbow because there's a, a flange that that will set right on which is beautiful so once you've got your unit put together to this point, all you simply put on your dig into your, your uh, dig into that you have put together previously. You take your sprinkler head, in this case it's a Rainbird 5000. You screw it on. And you're done. You can actually, this I can screw it a little tighter doesn't really need to be that tight but uh, now and you now you have total flexibility in going up or down or forward or backward to assure that your dig ender and sprinkler head are are positioned uh, uh, perfectly uh, uh, level with your turf